hi everyone in this video we are going to set up a server in this system and to expose this service to internet so any device that is connected to internet can access this service so first we will start a service now I am using Python flask for that uh, this is a basic uh, server code like in the root path that is if you give your IP address with port number on browser it should return hello world it should show hello world in the browser window so we are going to start the service so before that I am taking my local IP address that is 192.168.1.1.5 .1 and this is something you need to only do for uh, it only do if you are using python flask Now I'm going to specify the IP address. So the service now we're going to start on uh, this IP address. So now you can see that the service is running on the IP address and the port number is 5000 so if you take a browser and paste in the IP with port number 5000 mm. it should show hello world ok now the issue is that now you can access uh, this service from your not local network only because this IP 192.168.1.105 is specific for your local network not for internet so first you have to check for your public IP that's the IP internet gives you so now you can see that my public IP is this one so if your server is exposed to internet you can access via your public IP So now you can see that using your public IP it is not able to connect to your system or your service. That's because you need to enable port forwarding in your router settings. To take router settings you have to go to the URL 192.168.1.1 and the default username and password will be admin admin. So in the router settings, you have to take the NAT tag and to enable a virtual server. So here you have to specify a name for your application and the port. Since our program is running on 5000, you are giving 5000. You all can also give a range of port numbers. And our local IP is this one 192.168.1.105 now if you save this configuration you can see that an application flask is allowed in port 5000 with local IP here now if I am going to check with my public IP
now you can see that using this public IP also you can access uh, this 5000 port or you can access your service also keep remember that uh, some ISP said your internet service providers will you give will give you static IP but I have dynamic IP here most of us will have dynamic IP so if you restart the router or restart the device your IP IP will be changed so it's better to use a static IP for this kind of things and if you find this video helpful please subscribe us thank you